two sides to every story. People who make money with short-term rentals, we're talking like Airbnbs, and people who live next to them. A new set of regulations hoping to find a balance between the two. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan live now near 43rd and McGee tonight. So Alyssa, not everyone is pleased. Oh, well, that's right. And I spoke to the owner of this triplex today. He actually renovated this property specifically to be short term rentals. And right now it has three units and they're all listed on Airbnb. But soon he'll only be able to rent out one. Uh, yeah, so, it's one of the uh, new restrictions in the ordinance uh, passed by the city. Cute little kitchen here. Multifamily properties like this one Lance Pierce owns can only list 25% of the units as a short-term rental. So for a triplex, only one unit in that building can be used. In order to have that one unit, Pierce has to get approval from his neighbors. 55% of neighbors to either side of the property and across the street agree um, to have the Airbnb there. The new regulations are a welcome change for some. I think there definitely needs to be regulations because there's so much that could go wrong. Two units next to Mary Thompson's apartment became short-term rentals last month. People started coming in and having really large parties. It was really loud in the middle of the night. People were parking in my parking spot. At one point, a stranger wandered into her apartment. She since contacted the owner of her building, and there hasn't been a renter in a few days. Pierce says problems like those are why he's happy with some parts of the ordinance. I think this ordinance goes a long way in doing that, um, in registering every Airbnb and then allowing any complaints that come in to be able to pull that license if, if hosts are not operating them correctly. And for people like Thompson, the new restrictions give her peace of mind. And I think that it's better that they're doing that before something bad happens. And the ordinance also completely bans short-term rentals from areas zoned R7.5 and R10. Those areas are mostly single-family homes. Reporting in Kansas City, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.